This is TJ with tjfree.com. In this video, I'm going to be quickly going over five programs that are completely free to download and use. These are 3D modeling and design programs. We've got Blender, Sweet Home 3D, BRLCAD, FreeCAD, and SketchUp. Now, of these five programs, SketchUp is the only one that's uh, sort of not completely free. It has um, a limited free version, which is a very functional, great tool, and also paid versions. It, it's a program produced by Google. But these other four are completely free for personal and commercial use. They're open source software, and they're cross-platform, meaning they'll run on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux, um, whereas SketchUp only works on, I believe, Windows and Macintosh. Um, all of them are great, though. You can, you can do professional work with all of them. And uh, if you're interested in downloading these and, and trying them out for yourselves, um, go ahead and uh, you can check out download links at my website, tjfree.com, or just Google the name of the program, and you should be able to find a download link that way as well. First, let's look at Blender. Blender is a 3D animation and design program. You can draw and manipulate uh, objects in 3D space. Whoa. And... Uh, so yeah, it's it's pretty cool. You can they've done entire movies with this, like animated movies similar to the movies that like Pixar would make, like Finding Nemo or um, like Toy Story. They've done games with with Blender, like you can actually it's actually a game engine as well. You can do animations, games, or just create really really awesome 3D objects. And the rendering is is pretty good. I mean, the rendering, is, look, you can make some very realistic looking objects with Blender. This is a program I just found um, online, I mean, a, a model I found online. And that's the other great thing about Blender and some of these other programs I'm going to be showing you is that there are some really great communities online with repositories where you can actually find different 3D, uh, you know, 3D art that you can use in your own animations or your own rendering a lot of times because uh, they'll have very open licensing but uh, yeah it's a it's a very cool full featured program and I encourage you to take a look at it if it uh, looks like something you're looking for that's blender the next one we'll look at is sweet home 3d sweet home 3d is a program for designing like a house layout or a, a building layout and figuring out how to place furniture and and different parts of the building, I guess, within it. It's very simple. You don't have to know a lot about AutoCAD and, and things like that, not, not even necessarily design principles. You just draw it up uh, in a 2D space like this, and then as you draw, it will create a 3D model of, of that 2D um, layout that you draw. And then you can then just drag furniture into it. So you drag all these things, you get a double bed here. You can do, they have different, like, French doors and windows and a service hatch. And then once you you drag in all these different objects, and then you can take a look and see how your model looks. It's great for if you're going to redesign your house, maybe you're planning an addition, or maybe you do construction for a living and you have clients and you want to do a mock-up um, and show them an example of uh, what it's going to look like. This one is a, is a more detailed version, so you can see if we click on the table here, and oops, actually there used to be a see there used to be a couch here. So click on this couch, and that couch we can delete it and we can add it again. And so and as we move it, we can move it around the room, which is pretty cool. If we go to we can break this window out separately, and we can look around this room and see how it looks. And if we want, we can do like a an aerial view of the whole house and see what individual rooms look like. So it's a great program, Sweet Home 3D. Is the name of that one. These next two, BRLCAD and FreeCAD, are both programs that are very similar to um, Autodesk AutoCAD. And so they'll have a lot of the same features as that AutoCAD has. Um, this, this first one is BRLCAD. It's a program that has been extensively used by the military for several decades. And uh, consequently, it'll have lots of the models associated with BRLCAD are going to be military vehicles and weapon systems. Um, which is kind of cool. So you can you can draw um, objects, um, different parts and assemblies and things with uh, with BRLCAD, and then you render them up. And you can I mean you can render them and, and view view them like we're doing this one. And you can also something cool is that it's not just a picture like you'd have with Blender. It's an actual these are actual parts. Like here's an axle and rim 
for this landing gear assembly for this aircraft. And then so we can you can render this and see how it would look. You can you know make do a proposal if you're going to build this, and you, you can actually create blueprints from these parts and and build these just like you would with any AutoCAD or any CAD design program. So that is um, BRL CAD. Free CAD we'll take a look at. Free CAD's also it's 2D and 3D. You can do a lot of the same stuff you can do with BRL CAD or with um, AutoCAD, and it's um, you can do, this is just like a simple layout for a building, but you can do some pretty pretty amazing stuff if you know what you're doing, and I don't, I'll be honest, but um, there's a learning curve involved with all, all of this software, and uh, if you want to invest some time learning these CAD programs, they, you can create some very, very um, useful things with them. Okay, moving on, SketchUp's the last program I want to show you, uh, and the reason I included SketchUp, even though it's not... Uh, an open source program. Um, it is still free for personal use, like this version I'm using. It doesn't have like a a, a time trial or anything. You can use it um, for personal use, but it's really easy to just draw things, and it's uh, it's kind of fun to do use to. You can do like um, houses, you can do vehicles, any kind of 3D object really. Although it's used a lot um, in architectural applications. For example, all of the models you see on Google Earth and Google Maps are used or were drawn in Google SketchUp. This is the Illinois State Capitol building that someone drew and patterned after um, both a Google Maps layout, the, the actual map, as well as photos that they matched it to, which is what I'm showing you now. They've matched these pictures to it, and so you can see like vehicles in the picture. And then if you um, actually scroll around, you see just the model. But you can match. And you can do this yourself too with your own house. You can match a, a building to your own house, which is or I, I match your own house to a model that you make. Um, let's pull up one or two more examples here. You can do interiors with Google SketchUp, um, like these that you can actually walk around in and view. So this could also be great if you have clients that you're designing a house or something for, and they want to see what it's going to look like when it's finished. Anyway, those are the programs I wanted to share with you today, um, and uh, hopefully you've uh, these have kind of piqued your interest. If you want to download some of these and try them out, I'd encourage you to do that, and uh, feel free to leave comments, subscribe to my videos, check out some of my other ones, and go ahead and visit me over on tjfree.com for more videos and reviews of software, and I hope you have an awesome day.